My name is Fred Sinkler, Manager of Product Development for Pride Seeds. Today we're going to take a walk through the cornfield and we're at the stage of milk going into dough. The corn crop has a good height to it, good color, uh, very little nutrient deficiency at this point in time. Uh, today's temperature is the high at 27 with uh, night temperature around 15 or 16 which we're accumulating about 26, 27 CHU which is fairly good for uh, August day. You can see in this uh, particular field there is no uh, disease pressure at this point in time and fertility has been relatively good a little bit of firing on the very bottom which is normal but as you can see by looking at the midrib there has been no uh, nitrogen deficiency in these plants to this point which is good because we're still trying to maintain as much energy and carbohydrates into that ear as possible at this time of year. Another observation we can uh, make is just as we walk through the field just checking how pollination was if there's uh, any tip back at this point in time, how the ear is filled out. Insect pressure, if there's been any uh, rootworm adult clippings of silks, which may have caused some uh, tips to not be filled. When we are looking at the uh, field at this stage and uh, a little earlier, we are able to assess the pollination. There are some uh, reasons why pollination may have failed and you may have some tip back on certain ears or maybe some blank kernels when you look down the, uh, the ear itself. In this instance we aren't seeing any of that but a few of the reasons could be uh, clipping from rootworm or Japanese beetles, drought stress, excessive rain near the start of pollination which prevents anthers from uh, really releasing the pollen and uh, corn rootworm beetle feeding damage to the tassel or to the anthers which is not as common as silk feeding in most instances. As you can see by the kernel development on this ear pollination was relatively good this year. At the R3 or milk stage kernels are yellow on the outside and the contents are very milky. This stage is usually 18 to 20 days after silking starch continues to accumulate in the endosperm. Endosperm cell division is nearly complete and continued growth is mostly due to cell expansion and starch accumulation. A severe stress can still abort kernels at this time although not as easily as at the blister stage. Kernel moisture content is approximately 80 percent. With heat units between 25 to 28 per day at this time of year the next stage we'll move into will be the R4 or dough stage which will take place in about five to six days from here on in. Looking here at the advanced milk stage going into dough we can estimate that we'll need about 40 more days with uh, average CHU till we reach physiological maturity. This has been Fred Sinkler and thank you for joining us in this session of Field Talk on uh, assessing corn at the R3 milk stage going into the dough stage R4.